my channel. If you are just joining me for the very first time, my name is Onomi, aka Princess Joanna, and this is Onomi's Empire, guys. Welcome to the amazing squad empire. So today, if your skin itch after taking the bath, then you should watch this video. You should watch this video, guys. What you're suffering from is called aquagenic pyritus. I want to see the causes of, of aquagenic pyritus. Why do you have that itching when you just come out of the shower, when you just finish it? The first thing that comes to mind is medication. Some people react to some certain medications like chloroquine. We all know chloroquine. Some people react to chloroquine. Even me, I react to chloroquine. And also, it might be as a result of an allergy. You're allergic to a particular food or a particular substance that came in contact with your skin. And another thing is, some people can get this as a result of cold water. You know, when you wake up in the morning, you're waiting very, very, very cold water. You might uh, experience this uh, aquagenic pyritus. And also, for some persons that have dry, intense, dry skin, I have dry skin, but mine is not intense. So, for some persons that have dry skin, they tend to experience this, um, this aquagenic pyritus. It is not easy, it's unbearable. But for the first uh, 30 minutes, you are itching. I trust me, I've experienced it from very good. And for some persons, it's too much baiting or scrubbing. They will bait, some people will be baiting too much, showering for like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, you are showering. Trust me, guys, that is not good. And also for people that scrub, they will scrub, they want to remove all the dirt and they forget they will go out and still come in again. They will scrub and scrub and scrub their skin. That might just be the cause of why they are itching after baby. What to do when you have this itching? What to do? The immediate thing to do. The first thing to do is to get or to bathe with lukewarm water, not hot water. Lukewarm water. Make sure you bathe with lukewarm water in the morning. You can actually use cold water at night, but for some persons, when you know you are reacting to such cold water, try a lukewarm water. The second thing is use a good moisturizer. It's very important. <laughs> As it is, you can see my face. My face was dark like some months ago. I used good moisturizer on my face. I hardly do use this. But when you use moisturizer and use a very good uh, sunscreen, your face will come out glowing. So, good moisturizer for your skin that really itches, it will go a long way for your skin. You can use moisturizers like Cetaphil, you can use Eucerin, you can use uh, CeraVe, you can drop their pictures. In fact, they are amazing, but they are expensive. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you the truth. They are expensive, guys. But they will do the work. They are foreign moisturizers and they're very, very good for the skin. They don't have um, uh, fragrance. Yes, if you have dry skin, you might be reacting to fragrance. Too much fragrance and not good for you. So they are very nice. They are super, super nice. The third thing on my list is do not use sponge. I repeat, do not use sponge. Sponge might just be the reason why you are uh, itching. Don't use sponge. People say, I cannot have it. Ha, I cannot be with that sponge. For now that you are, your skin is itching, do away with that sponge first. Do away with it so that you can stop itching. Next thing is to use baby oil. Baby oil is very good and mild and gentle on the skin. You can either drop that in your water or you apply it on your skin this will be good for you stop using any chemical products any uh, lotion uh, strong whitening bubble to bubble stop it now it's like it will increase it just use a very good moisturizer like i said and you can actually use a baby oil 
The next thing I will say is to use sodium bicarbonate, which we all know as uh, baking soda. This baking soda will help raise the pH of the water and will also lessen the symptom. This will really work for you guys. I know that you want to use medicated soap uh, because it contains antibacterial, anti fungi. Yes, it does really contain, but it will make the matter worse. Don't use any of that. Do not use any medicated soap when you are have, when you are having this symptom. Do not, I repeat, do not. It will worsen the itching. And also, you should try when you finish bathing. Do not wipe all the water from your skin. Don't wipe it out. Make sure your body is a little bit wet, so that when you come out for the shower, you apply your uh, your moisturizer or your oil. It will do you a lot of good, guys. It will do you a lot of good. And the last thing I'm going to say, if these symptoms persist, if it becomes unbearable that you cannot bear it, please see a dermatologist or you see them. Come to the end of this video, my amazing squad. I don't know if this was helpful to you. Please comment like, share with your family, share with your friends, and also subscribe. Encourage your girl, be encourage your girl. Subscribe to this channel, guys. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Stay blessed.